What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today I have Spooby HD back on the channel and we're building an amazing skill tree for Pelagus. Spooby, my dude, I wish everyone could see you right now with a face cam, but at least they could hear your gorgeous voice, man. I am so happy to have you back on the channel, brother. What's the plan for today, my man? Uh, yes, well, thank you very much, Echo, for having me back on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And yes, today, guys, today, we're going to be talking about one of the most polarizing free-to-play commanders out there in Riot Civilization, actually being Pelagus. Did you say free-to-play, Spooby? Yeah, I did say free to play. It's actually what I do specialize in. If you guys want to check me out at SpoobyHD 1080p 4K, um, I like to do a huge free to play series where I like to talk about all these great commander guides, um, commanders you should be focused on, commanders you should not be focusing on, because you know, in the like at the end of the day, it's not really you know going to be benefiting you as much as these commanders. Right. So check out his channel is what he's trying to say. Link is in the description below. As well, guys, subscribe to this channel if you like fun daily Rise of Civilizations content. And remember, Spooby and I are both sponsored by Rise of Civilizations. So Spooby, what I'm sitting on right now on my screen is Pelagus maxed out, which we showed everyone yesterday. We kind of let the cat out of the bag early, showing them that mm -hmm. we did do a max out session. Unfortunately, we didn't have that completely recorded, but he's max level right now. And I'm sitting with 29 talent points points that we're going to be spending today so what we're going to use here is spooby's expertise on how to build pelagus specifically to back up my max level tau tau so spooby what's the plan man how do we want to build this guy to show the most support to my primary okay, commander yes. yeah absolutely um yeah so pretty much echo so for today's video we're pretty uh, we're pretty much going to be maxing out his skill tree now 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 if you guys did not know skill is uh the skill tree or the nuka tree from back then is actually all about regenerating a uh, regenerating a ton of rage yes you actually want to look at his first skill where i should see a damage factor of 300 and then additional damage factor for the next two seconds of 300 then a rage restored on top of that for a 100. so that is already just by having that thing maxed out you're gonna be dealing insane damage and also have an insane rage restored yes beast so Yes, uh, yes, and absolutely. And plus, with his second ability right here, actually being able to have the founder of Arturius, we'll be able to see a cavalry attack bonus and a cavalry defense bonus, respectively, of 10%. So, pairing up with Tao Tao, actually having a 30% cavalry attack bonus, that's going to be 40% echo. Like, you really cannot match that on the battlefield. Unmatchable, you're right. Yep, and uh, yes, and pretty much though, um, yeah, so for the third skill, you know, he's a garrison, like, you, you can put him up at the wall as a garrison commander. I really do actually kind of like that, you, you know, you give, like, you pretty much get a lot of versatility with Pelagus. You know, if you actually have that kind of option, yes, you want to put him at the wall, but with his fourth skill, Echo, we actually have the Mutineer, we're actually have a healing factor for the next two seconds, yes. you know, to have a healing factor of 450, already already eclipsing over Boudicca, already eclipsing over Joan of Arc, and also other um, healing commanders such as Cleopatra. Wow. Now, okay. Yep. Yep. Pretty much, guys. And give or take, it's actually happened for the next two seconds, not one second, two seconds. So that's what I really do like about him. And yes, guys, with the oath of Assyria, actually having the extra T skill, a dream for one day. I actually would have. We're actually increasing the attack of cavalry and defense cavalry by fifteen percent. And the best thing I like about this echo um, is actually the fact that um, with the kingdom of Wu Wei with uh with Tao Tao we actually yeah. want to go ahead and look at that because what happens is that um we actually increase the attack of cavalry by 25 percent we also decrease cavalry defense by 10 percent so pretty much what happens there echo is that the fact that Pelagus already covers that area so we actually do not actually already have a defense drop we actually get a defense gain by five percent you know what I love that you just did, Spooby? I love that you compared Pelagus to other commanders that people already love in the game. Example, Boudicca. Everyone's in love with Boudicca. Everyone likes Joan of Arc, but you just kind of said, Pelagus is better when you build him the way that we're going to be building him today. So that was really great. I love the comparison. Thanks for doing that. Hey, hey man, it's absolutely no problem. You, I love my Claire Dragoon looking commander, you know? <laughs> All right, so why don't we actually jump into his talent tree? Okay, sounds great, man. Sounds great. So, um, yeah, so first of all, guys, we're going to be looking at the skill. The main goal of Pelagus is to be rebuilding him as as regening so much rage as possible, being able to be something called a rage tanker, you know, being able to just say, oh, okay, am I going to get my ability off? Yeah, I'm going to get my ability off right now. And five seconds later, you can get one off again and off again and off again because damage factors really do scale better than normal attack damage. Yes, yeah, so we're talking Krage, as Chisco would say, correct? Yeah, what is going on, governors? You know, like yes, that. You know, exactly. Kind of you did that very yeah, well, I have to say. So, um, yeah, so pretty much Echo, with our first time, we're actually want to go with the attack of all troops. You know, it's a, it's a requirement. Done. We want to go with the, um, the defense of all troops. We want to go for the burning blood. Being able to being able to have the uh, the read off that normal attack grants an additional nine rage. Love so it. each attack, nine rage. Each attack, nine rage. 
Gotcha. So I really do like that. For each second, it's going to be a turn. So it's actually be 109 rage. Okay. So we're also going to have the all for one, which I really do like. Okay. Pair them up with uh, with Zao Zao, and you're actually going to have a very uh, really cool skill. After the primary skill commander uses the skill, active skill damage of the secondary commander is increased by 6%. So that 1,400 damage factor uh, echo, if you actually pair up max, uh, max out Zao Zao, it's not going to be 1,400. It's going to be dealing so much more damage. Wow. Okay. I have to tell you, Spoo, you speak so fast. I hope everyone can always can keep along with you. If you can't, guys, just pull the little thing that back on the bottom and listen to it again. But uh, okay, so Spooby, after all for one, where are we go? The watch time, you know? Yeah, exactly. Where are we going to next, buddy? After yes, all for one, I'm, I'm so caught up. We want to go for the rejuvenate. The rejuvenates can be extremely important. It's like, it's pretty much like the best skill mm. for for the skill commander. So what it does, it instantly restores sixty rage whenever a skill is used. Now, like you know, and for that being said. And that's actually going to go over to actually the other skills as well, because we're going to be going for a full skill build. Okay. Full skill builds are amazing, guys. And we're actually going to go down here, actually, on the other side of Echo, called the Heraldic Shield. Being able to reduce the skill damage taken by 2%, or actually 6%, when fully maxed out. So we're hitting that one up right now as well? Okay. And we want to go for Tactical Mastery. Um, tactical Mastery is very underrated, increasing skill damage by 3%. Okay, we're going to do that. Now, I just want to let you know, I have not made my way to Rejuvenate yet. I think I need to go up to the defense of all troops, and then yes, I can... You do. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go defense of all troops, which is going to unlock health of all troops, leaving me with eight points left, three of which I'm now spending on Rejuvenate. I have five okay. points left, Spooby. I've just gotten the shield, we've gotten the tactical mastery, and I've gotten Rejuvenate. No extra dots have been filled in. Where are we headed next? Okay, so we actually want to go with the um, we actually want to go down actually to the attack of all troops. We're going to go ahead and unlock that because what it's going to do it's going to unlock something called the march speed of all troops. We're definitely going to have some march speed on there, and then for the very last one, we're going to want to go to clarity. Clarity um, after when an active skill is used, increase skill damage by two percent for the next six seconds. I don't so think, Spooby, like I can get down there. I don't think I can get down there. At least we could always get use more tomes of knowledge, but yes, absolutely. I have to. I could do health of all troops which I'm going to do now because that's going to open up March speed of all troops. And then that's going to be the end of my points that I have to spend without using more tomes. Is that what you'd like me to do? Absolutely. Okay. That's done. We've gotten the March speed up and now clarity's unlocked, but I don't have anything to actually place in there. No more skill points. So are we going to go grab some? Okay, perfect. So I guess that's a yes. Yay. Okay. So we're going to get tomes of knowledge. Do you want me to take them up to 33 or are we going to go beyond those three? Let's go to 40. We're going to 40. Why not? Okay. You know, this is going like, to be the all for one skill, you know, like just like, you know, just like from yesterday, uh, just like the other skill we actually have for the town point, the all for one, might as well go for all of it. Yeah, why not, right? Okay, well, we're yep, spending a like, whole lot of tomes of knowledge. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep, absolutely, guys. Like, in, in, like, in, if you guys are actually interested, if you guys are free to play like me, go ahead and visit my channel and I actually have a top five best commanders in all of Rise Civilizations, either being legendary, epic, um, you know, being epic, legendary, even elites or even advanced commanders. You're gonna be very surprised to see what I actually have to, what I actually have in store. Spooby, when you watch this video, you're gonna just see how many tomes of knowledge I spent and what I'm left with, and you're not gonna be happy. But you're, we're going. You're pro oh, okay. We're, you, you, it, you probably it's spent around 550,000, right? I don't know, but I don't have anything but level ones left. But that's fine, because we have 10 talent points to spend right here, and I'm making a beast commander with you, so it's worth it, man. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. We're going to buy Clarity right now. We're going to do upgrade that three times. Are we making our way to Feral Nature? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Oh, You're going to see boy. right here, guys. Feral Nature is huge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Feral Attacks has a 10% chance to grant an additional 100 wow. rage echo. Here's okay. the thing, okay? There is no cooldown with it. Like, you know, it's not like Joan of Arcs where it's like, oh, you have to wait five seconds. It's not like CPR for Connors being able to wait five seconds. You actually have a one in 100 chance mm -hmm. to hit it once, and you can hit it once again. But, you know, it's such a small percentage. But the fact that it's actually possible throughout these long battles, it can happen. So you're telling me you could just continuously hit it? You can get, well, it's a very small margin. It's a very small percentage, mm -hmm. but you can okay. hit it off again and again. It's going to go one to 10, then one to 100, then one to 1,000, you know, then so be so forth. So you're not hitting and quitting, you're just hitting and hitting and hitting. Yeah, you're just hitting, 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 and you have that 10% okay. chance each hit to gain an additional 100 rage. Okay, so we're going to go over and get defense of all troops. Okay. And then that's going to be followed up by the attack of all troops. Booby, I'm excited because I've never actually unlocked this one. Unfortunately, I only have two talent points. I can't get all five into here, but oh. I would assume, I would assume that that's the plan. 
Yes, yes, that is going to be the plan, Echo. It is a huge game changer right there. Okay. Like, you know, if you actually, you know, like, if you guys actually were to watch a lot of, um, you know, Duke's content, even he actually really do like, he really does actually like the uh, the feral nature skill. It's very, um, like, you know, people do actually like to say it's one of the best skills within the game because mm -hmm. it's just like Herman's skill being able to, uh, Herman's fourth skill being able to have a trigger chance of ten percent in order to regain a hundred rage. Which Herman is another commander which I have maxed out. He's actually my head garrison commander, Spooby. Ooh, that's a yeah. very, that's a very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, so this is 205. Is it worth starring up Pelagus a little bit more and trying to see if I have enough Tomes of Knowledge? Let's see. Um, wait, so you actually have his expertise unlocked, correct? His expertise is unlocked, yes. Okay. Everything is unlocked so, for yes. him. I just um, need, yes. I need to star him up, really, if we want to get that maxed. Absolutely. It's because, actually, here's the thing, Echo. Um, and actually, like, you know, uh, you know, just a little tip for you guys. If you actually, if you actually unlock the fifth star, you actually get an additional five talent points. Right. So we will. Oh, so we wouldn't even need any more tomes of knowledge. Yeah, Shall we, we do, do some starring then? I yep, mean, we do not need more I, tomes of knowledge. We actually instantly get five talent points on top of it. And I have seven hundred and fifty-eight regular sculptures. So we just banging these out straight up. Yep, just bang them out. Power bang them. We're gonna power bang these. Yes, I love that. Hit, All right, you know, this is gonna take a while. Um, for those of you that have been on my channel before, I have the worst luck, so crit is usually not even a thing here. But we're gonna try. We actually got one. Uh, oh, I just developed one star on accident. Oh, but I got double crit with one star. How funny is that? Spooky? There you go. There you go, Echo. There's your luck for ten years. Make yeah, making <laughs> for ten years exactly. <laughs> There's a two a two times crit. Let's go. This is this right here, Spooky. My favorite part of the game. It's my favorite part of the game oh. right here. Mm, just upgrading. Oh, it's so Unbelievable. Good. Like, if we can just upgrade for free forever, if there's just like an upgrade simulator, please sign me up. Upgrade simulator. Game idea right there. Sign Don't me take up for the phone. NDA. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm getting two times crit almost every time. This is really great. Well, because I'm here, you know? like You, you know, are Spooby my lucky like charm. Spooby, this, uh, this is good. We got another two times crit. I'm loving this. I'm down to 684 sculptures. We're getting a little bit light on the sculptures. Another two times crit. Okay. And nope, not that time. It's okay. We're, we're just about full. We're at 85%. Make that 88.7%. Unbelievable stuff going on right here. Ooh, I know that everyone is so entertained right now by my stars. Um, because, you know, if people can't spend the money on the stars, it's just nice to watch someone else do it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Because, like, you know, at the end of the day, you might even get divorced and I'll say like, honey, I saw your iTunes receipt. Why'd you spend over $20,000 on a virtual game? Honey, I don't want to talk about it. I just lost a big war. What yeah. in real life or in or in this game? The Ark of Osiris we lost, so we don't want to talk right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the five Spooby talent points, Spooby, and I'm spending three of them right now on Feral Nature. I'm not even waiting for you to tell me to do it. I just went out and did it on my Ooh, own. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Listen, I'll, taking I'll, the I'll, bulls I'll, by I'll the horn, man. I tell you actually not to go in the Feral Nature. Stop it. <laughs> Stop that. All right, so where to next? Do we want to continue on and either fill in Naked Rage, I like the sound of that one, or Latent Power, or um, are we just going to spend them somewhere else like on March Speed of Calvary or on DC? Actually, um, you, know, yeah. you, know, I, you, know, I, you know, actually, okay, we actually want to actually go into Latent Power because the full thing about Pelagus is the fact that we actually have an address, additional damage factor, and that's actually going to be through an additional. So, and here's actually one more misconception, is the fact that, is the fact that direct damage factor and additional damage factor are two separate things. Okay, I understand. So we're going to upgrade the two points into that three-point slot and just kind of end things there? Yep, that's going to be it. All right. So, Spooby, um, hey man, I got a question. Um, do you have a Twitter? Yes, I do have a Twitter. Um, I post oh. like once every like three days. That's great. So every three days I can look forward to something. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's like, it's something weird or something like just explain something. I'm always on there like 24 seven. Okay. I just don't really feel like posting because like I'm just collaborating on someone's wall, you know? <laughs> okay. So don't actually go to movies, Twitter, go to his channel instead. I guess he's more, yeah, yeah, more um, reliable yeah, there. A, like I just bought a brand new pair of tap shoes and I just put it on Twitter. So you guys want to check it out. Spooby um, is a tap dancer, by the way. That's how he got his name, Spooby. Yep, Spooby. They're just doing the spoops here. You know? Doing the spoops. Hey, man, I think we have a boss right now. I'm super excited that he's going to actually be the new backup to my Tsao Tsao. And, uh, and we're going to go out and we're going we're to crush some people. And that's going to be fun, I think. That right? sounds perfect. That's fun. So, guys, if you enjoyed this build, I really do think you guys are going to enjoy it. Because like Spooby said, it's a build that's that most people can do because it is a free-to-play build. You're not dealing with legendary commanders, which take forever to uh, actually build up for free. So... 
Pelagus. Give him a try. Hopefully you guys enjoy him. Build this up and see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. And again, please make your way over to Spooby's channel. His link is in the description below as well. He's a ton of fun and he really does focus on that free to play for those of you guys that are, you know, rocking the free to play kind of life. So Spooby, thanks, bro. Hey, absolutely, man. Thank, and thank you very much for having me on the channel again. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, and actually, Echo, we actually go and talk about the roles of these commanders as well for another video. Oh, so that's what we can do in another video. So are you, are you, Spooby, telling me that you'd like to come back? I would love to come back. Okay. Guys, in the comments below, if you want to see Spooby back on my channel, let me know. I need you to tell me or else I'm not bringing him back. I can't. Yeah, yeah. You're, so you're bringing Chisco. You yeah, yeah, Chisco's the man. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for coming down. Spooby, any last words? Any last words, really? Um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm the free-to-play boss. I have over four or five accounts, really. I just want to give a huge shout-out to, um, to K117 and K1189. You guys are the best, and yeah, that's it. All right, guys, thanks so much. I appreciate you coming through. Remember, we are sponsored by G Fuel. Save yourself 10% on all G Fuel products. Over at GFuel.com, Spooby bought so much, he actually took an ice bath in it. Crazy. Oh man, I wasted so much. <laughs> tub was $45. Oh boy. But I'm out of here, and so is Spooby. He's going to stop talking now. We'll see all you guys back here later on today with another video. Until then, Till then. be good. Be good.